Hey guys, Adrian Graham here. Um, there's a lot of questions that I get about um, converting BIF to PRTs, uh, how they're useful, et cetera, et cetera. So I thought I'd quell all the, uh, the rumors and the, uh, try to get all the information in one place. Um, so we're going to take a simple sim like this and convert. Uh, I'm just going to do the foam particles to PRT because that's what we usually want to do. But anyways, just a little... A little sim, uh, the foam particles, there's 581,000. By the end of this, it is 24 frames. So let's go and write out the uh, cache files first of all, and uh, I'll come back right after that. Okay, so my frames were written out, and um, uh, we're going to uh, examine the cache files. So we're looking at a shell right now. I use this console2. You can use PuTTY, you can use SIGWIN. Um, Console2 is just a, a wrapper. You could use SIGWIN inside it, so it's just a regular um, Unix shell. But you can also use the command prompt, but it's a hell of a lot more of a pain to, uh, to get it working. So I saved the uh, files out to um, uh, in my ctemp directory. It's a PRT example 01. And if we list, we can see I've also got a little lister here. So we can see I've got 24 frames of foam, liquid, solids, etc., etc. So we're only going to look at the foam here. Uh, oops. All right, so we've got largest file is 15 megs. It's not a big deal, but uh, this works for any size file. So if you look, and before I show anything, let's look in my my 2016 directory here. So my 2016 Plugins, Bifrost, Dev Kit. So there's the BIF to PRT stuff. And notice there's the setup.bat, but you can kind of ignore that because now there's this BIF to PRT.bat. And uh, the location on disk in this terminal is easier to use. So what we need to do is... Uh, a couple things. First, we need to define, um, the only thing we really need to do is to define Maya underscore location. So uh, I'm, I'm in bash right now, but obviously you're going to have to set it in some other way. So I'm going to uh, export Maya location equals, and of course, can't use my sig path. Don't ask me why. Okay, so I'm going to specify my Maya location. I need a double slash. And now it should just work. So if I cd2 uh, plugins by Frost dev kit if prt and bin, oops, so there's bit to prt dot bat. So if I just do dot slash bit to prt dot bat, I get a usage message. So the thing is, my uh, my path hasn't been expanded to include this. So the easiest thing to do is to just create an alias or something just for now. I don't have to. Well, I could expand my path, I guess. But uh, um, okay, why not? So we'll do uh, so that because what I need to do is I need to run this from anywhere. So I'm going to export path equals dollar path colon, and then uh, I wonder if I can use. I think I should be able to. Um, and I need to escape that space. Love it. Love it. Okay, so now if I do biff to prt, there we go. So I'm in my home directory, and I could still find the dot .bat. Good. So the next step is we're going to uh, find the, uh, we're going to go uh, convert a file. So back into the biff to prt example. And just clear. Um, uh, foam. So let's look at the foam. So we'll just we'll take the the, the, the last file. So bif to prt dot bat. And I always get tricked up on this. You got to do dash f for file. You can't just put the uh, you can put the file and run it. You don't need any other arguments because what it's going to do is it's going to strip off the bif and put on prt. And there we go. There's my prt file. And I can vi it, but it's you know mostly it's. Um, it is, uh, uh, it's uh, binary. So, okay, so now we're going to convert our, uh, all of our foam. So foam star. We're going to convert all these foam files to PRT. So I'm going to show you the syntax to do that in bash. And uh, I've been put on the spot here. Let me see if I remember this. Uh, 
for uh, f in star foam star do there we are if two prt dot uh, that dollar uh, dash f dollar f done yeah look at that nice okay so it's converting We've got a sequence of prts and the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, open this up in Krakatoa. Oh, I it didn't overwrite that last one. That's what I get that error for. If I list, so there's my sequence of PRTs. So uh, let me get uh, Maya open, and uh, we'll, for example, load this in a Krakatoa, and we'll uh, go from there. Okay, so we're back, and we've uh, rewound uh, about a year and a half, and we're looking at Maya 2015. A little uh, blast from the past for all you guys who are nostalgic for the old look. Um, and I'm running 2015 because I, uh, I don't think Krakatoa is available for 2016 yet. So whatever, we're just gonna, I'm just going to show you that this is indeed working. Um, so uh, let me just show my grid so we can see what our scale is here. So we've got Krakatoa from Maya loaded. Um, I'm going to uh, create a PRT loader. And I'm going to browse for these guys. And remember, we wrote it out to uh, ctemp and just click the first one and oops i gotta set my range slider to 24 just to make it easier you can scrub forward and there they all are um so uh that shows that they're there and if we look at we could display velocities and we could see that there are in fact velocities being translated um, uh, what else is there? Yeah, that's uh, the last frame. There is yeah, about five hundred ninety-three thousand. That sounds familiar. So we can uh, render this, and it should render with motion blur. So I don't want to uh, bore you with the details, but I will pause and then get a render going, and then come back and show you. Okay, so here's my render, um, and uh, I have to disclose that. Um, I don't have Krakatoa running on my Windows box. I do have it on my Linux box. So I had to do a render over there and then just save it and write it out over here, or bring it over here. It took three seconds. And um, uh, these are my settings. I can launch the plugin. I just can't do a render. Otherwise, I get an error. I don't have a license for uh, my Windows machine, like I said. So these are the settings. Nothing too crazy. I mean, there's motion blur. There's not that many particles. So you get lots of jittering and stuff, um, as you can see. but. Um, that's the workflow, and uh, if anybody has any questions, please follow up in the thread. Thanks for watching.